Hey guys, um, this is my first time going live on anything, so bear with me, I'm a little nervous. Um, but my camera is currently doing a firmware update, so we're gonna just make this one live today. So I'm actually very excited because we're just gonna chat a little bit. Um, and I already poured myself a glass because I thought I was filming, but my camera wasn't actually recording. So um, I've already talked about this wine before and another wine in design, and I haven't gone shopping for a new bottle. So I'm sorry, but I have mentioned this one before. It's a Ziffindel um, Francis Coppola Diamond Collection Ziffindel. And I do like it. It's like more dry, but also kind of sweet. So I enjoy it, but I just haven't really been home. I haven't really been drinking wine as much, so I haven't gotten a new bottle. But I poured myself a glass in this really cool wine glass I got from West Elm. I thought this was pretty cool, but I also felt kind of weird going in there just for this. <laughs> but um, at least we have something new, something new today. So I'm going to be sipping on that, and we're actually going to talk all about fonts today because um, I've been like kind of just reflecting on all the designs I made this last year. And I really, truly think that, or I know that fonts are just so, so important for expressing the brand's personality. And if the font is off, I think that it's really obvious, even for those that aren't designers or don't have like an artistic eye, it's obvious sometimes when the font isn't working for the brand. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorite fonts and I want to talk about free fonts, also paid fonts and serif fonts, sans serif fonts, script fonts and all of that and all of my favorite ones. So yeah, let's get let's get started. I hope you guys have a glass with me cuz don't want to drink alone, but All right. So I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite free fonts and my top favorite right now is I wrote notes because I don't know how to pronounce these. Some of the font names are like really hard to pronounce, but it is Cormorant Garamond, C-O-R-M-O-R-A-N-T. I wish I could like pop it up here, um, but it's a serif font and it's just so elegant looking and so nice looking. I really, really like that one. Um, so I've been using that a lot for like my personal branding and like my Instagram posts and stuff. So that is definitely one of my favorite ones up there. Um, and that is a free one. I think you can actually get it on. Yeah, you can. You can get it on Google fonts. So that is a free one. And I also really like. Um, oh, I'm going to say this completely wrong. Obake. I think that's how you say it. O-B-A-K-E. And it's like a really cool, almost like Bebas new, um, where it's kind of like extended font. But that one I think is like a really cool font for like menus or restaurants. I don't know why that font just speaks restaurants to me, but that is a very, very cool one. And you can get it for free. I just searched it a minute ago and you can get it on Behance for free. Um, so that one, definitely one of my favorites. Um, also, now I want to talk about some free sans serif fonts that you can get on Google fonts or um, I really hope you guys can hear me because I haven't even checked this. Let me just make sure that my mic is. Um, I think I'm good. If I see one person is watching or maybe that's me, but if you can hear me, please let me know. Um, but yeah, some ser sans serif fonts that are really nice are Quicksand, and I'm sure you guys have all heard about this one, but Montserrat, Montserrat, I think I said that right, M-O-N-T-S-S-E-R-A-T, -S -S -E that one is like a go-to for me if I am designing something and I need like a really simple font to put under some script or under a serif font that is definitely my go-to and a little trick to make that font look really different um, the Montserrat, Montserrat font is to actually space the letters out and do them all capital that makes it look really kind of classy and different so 
that is definitely a go-to for me. But I think going into 2021, I kind of want to stray away from that because I think it can be a little bit overdone. Um, but that definitely is a great, simple sans serif font. Um, another one is, I just mentioned, Quicksand is a really nice looking font um, that you can also get for free on Google Fonts. And I like making that capital too. I don't know why, but when it comes to sans serif fonts, I just like making them capital. So that is my preference. But now I want to talk about a free script font that I I kind of overuse this one too, but I really, really like this one. And it is called White Angelica. And you can actually get this one on Defont. Um, so yeah, Defont has a lot of really, really good like script fonts and all kinds of stuff. So White Angelica is a really nice, super like kind of light line to script font. And I absolutely love that one. It's actually one that I use on my thumbnails a lot. Um, and yeah, you can get it at Defont. So that is one of my favorite script fonts for free. Um, and now I'm going to talk about some paid fonts. And I purchase all of my paid fonts on Creative Market because I just think they have a really nice wide collection. Um, so that's usually where I go to search for like also just inspiration because I kind of feel like when you find the font you want to use, you can start to get really creative with the logo. Um, so I don't think there's any problem with starting with the font first and then the whole design. So Creative Market has really great inspiration ideas for fonts, and they also have some great ones that you can purchase. Um, and so some of my favorite sans serif fonts on Creative Market. This one is, I think, so underrated. It's such a cool looking font, and it is called Parker. So if you guys go and search that, it's like kind of almost, it looks like a stamp to me. And I just love that style of like all capital, super like simple kind of stamp look font. I just love that. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but I think that's a really cool looking one. And again, that was called Parker. So just how it sounds, Park E-R. Um, and that one I believe is $12, so not too bad. And if you're going to be using it for that entire brand's like websites, logo, um, it's definitely going to come in use. And then when you hand it off to the client, you can also give them those files as well for the font. So I love Parker. I've used that in, maybe I can show you guys. I used that in one of my logos last year. And... I loved it. I fell in love with it and I completely have, I haven't used it as much as I should, but it's such a cool looking font. So let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, and it looks pretty neat, like circle fonts so to really give it that stamp effect. Uh, oh, I just saw it. But yeah, I'm really trying to, next year I don't want to be using fonts over and over again because I think that a font kind of reflects your style as a designer as well. If you use a lot of serif fonts then you give off that kind of style of like really classy and kind of minimalist styles. Um, I think sans serif fonts can be a little bit more bright and fun and different. Um, sorry guys I'm trying to find that logo because it I just want you to see what the font can look like within something. Um, but yeah, I really think that changing up the fonts you go after is not like important, but it's kind of fun to like change it up and show people all different types of styles that you can do. Okay, well that's loading. I'll move on to the next one. And that is a serif font on Creative Market and it is called Bon, bon Voyage. Bone Voyage. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, and I think that was $12 as well. But it's a really, really pretty serif font. And it's like thin lined and just so beautiful. And also, guys, I'll put all of these when this video is done streaming. I'll put all the names of them in the description so you guys can kind of go back and like reference them. Um, but yeah, that one, love Bon Voyage. It's 
so pretty and it's like you can either do lowercase or capital it's one of those fonts where it looks good either way so i really love that one my instagram's not loading so for some reason i can't find oh here we go um maybe i can find the bon voyage one to show you guys too but um while we're while we're finding this i'll take another sip and hopefully you guys have one too. Alive is not that scary. Alive is not that scary. I feel like it's always kind of scary because it's like unedited. Oh, here you go. Okay, so this is the Parker font. Ugh, it's so bright. Come on. That is the Parker font, the one in the middle and the ones on the around it. And I just think it's so clean but also like has some character to it so Parker Parker is up there for me and I think I'll be using that a lot more this coming year um just in different ways but oh yeah and then the Bon Voyage example of that one is this oh no wait this is this is the Cor Cormorant Garamond font um it's like a really clean uh really clean serif font so I transitioned from using Libre Baskerville to Coromand Garamond. Why is that so hard to say? Um, I transitioned into using this one just because I think it looks a little more, it has more options in terms of like lighter fonts and thinner lines. And then I think Libre Baskerville kind of has bolder options, um, but either, either of them are gorgeous. Um, okay, this is the Bon Voyage font. This is all backwards, huh? Oh, well. Um, it's kind of hard to see. That is the Bon Voyage. Oh, my God. It's so bright. That's the Bon Voyage font. It's like a really thin. All right. This is so hard to see. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I'll link them all down below so you guys can take a look yourself. Um, but those are most of the fonts I wanted to mention that I – tend to go for. Um, another one that I'm just thinking off the top of my head that is free on Google Fonts is Avenir. And that also is like a Mont Montserrat kind of font. It's like um, a sans serif, really clean looking font. So Avenir is a really good one as well. Um, I do like to use that occasionally to change it up from using Mont Montserrat. Um, so yeah, I do like that one. Um, another good one that I feel like you can use for a lot of like sportier clients or clients that have an athletic kind of brand to them is Babus. Babus, I think I'm saying that right. Babus New has um, a really cool kind of like bold, clean style that I think works really well for athletic kind of styles. I don't know. When I see a font, I immediately think of what it can be used for. Like, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm like driving around and I see like a building with a font on it, like it totally speaks to what that building is. Like, for example, Sprouts, the grocery store, like has a really organic looking font and it's kind of like busy, but it gives off that farmer's market feel. A font that I'm not a fan of that I drive by um, near the grocery store I go to is Ross and me and my sister always talk about this because Ross it just I don't know something about that font just I don't really like it but I guess it kind of gives the clearance or sale kind of vibes but that one I just never 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 vibed with me um, but I feel like that's also just a good exercise as a designer to just drive around and be really aware of like the visuals everywhere and just like take in all the logos and the fonts that they're using, it becomes kind of like a little game. And it's really interesting when you like start learning the fonts and then you see like a really popular brand using that font, you're like, I know what they're using. It's like, you kind of know the insider secrets. So yeah, anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about fonts tonight and wish you guys a happy new year. And I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and that you stayed safe and healthy. And I hope you guys were able to see your family. Um, if not, I hope you enjoyed your time. But I can't believe it's already the new year. 
actually I kind of can believe because 2020 felt really long to me, but also really short. So it's kind of like a weird feeling. Like I feel like it's about time there's a new year, but also like where the heck did the year go? Um, but I'm excited for it. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of short, but it was like 15 minutes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if you guys like the live style because maybe I'll set like a time where I come on here and chat and we can chat together. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll leave all those fonts I mentioned down below so you guys can reference them and look for yourself. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week in my next video and my next wine and design. Thanks, guys.